Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this episode of Combo with the Head. My name is Kuji Shout and the head is big for a reason. Now, on this episode, we are going to have a conversation with one of the finest up-and-coming talents in the country right now. Uh, he has a song out called um, The JJ and it's making waves and it's, it is prudent that we have this conversation because, you know, say media, mm, I give my platform to people to utilize it and use it for whatever they want to do. The, but when they hit, they don't want to come and give me some of their money. So today, relax. M boy he brought me a breakfast. Yes. With some a jollof and so on. So that, that's not why I'm doing the interview though. That is actually why I'm doing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, M boy and his producer, Moment Nasni oh. have a conversation. Please, whatever I said, I'm a joke. I'm a fan of So, this is M Boy, and this is the producer. He's been working with him on several projects and all. Charlie Boy, uh, well, hey, sorry, bosses, welcome. We take um, everything we cool. Take they say they go PG. I know you like that school, so maybe two of them want to not left this. <laughs> but everything cool. Yeah. Music wise, how was 2021? 2021 was rough. Mm. So, yeah. That day, we'll be teaching our course right now. I'm the law school, so okay. Yeah, the journey is in is it that way. So mm -hmm. that's why it was rough. And now it's even serious at this point. Which level I mean, you did for the and I'm in three hundred. Well, okay. You have like twenty five years to <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like how many projects did you work on last year and all those? How was the reception like? Um the the project I worked on, I I released mm -hmm. one body of work. Mm -hmm. You released a, an EP. Yeah, that okay. is the EP, Painting mm -hmm. Pictures, mm -hmm. Tattoo Painting Pictures. Mm -hmm. And also, I think there's, sorry, there's one other song out there, mm -hmm. titled Body. Mm -hmm. That's my very, very first single before the EP. Okay. Yeah. So you, I mean, quantify how many body of work you had an EP out and a single. Yeah, so put, okay. putting them together is a That's compilation of seven songs. Okay. How, how was the reception? Did people... Um, I'm even amazed mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm very, very young mm -hmm. in the industry, as I'll, as I'll put it. Mm -hmm. And I'm so shocked as to how the people are just mm -hmm. like that accepting the music. Yeah. Okay. And I'm so like, I'm, I'm still, I'm still trying to work that out. How is that happening? Because I, I was doing this with all my passion and everything inside because mm -hmm. I'm also stressing on the other side. Okay. The Lord is also pulling my leg one or two ways, but mm -hmm. I'm still doing both. So I'm, I'm expecting results. Okay. People have to listen to me. Okay. So wherever I go, I try to put the song in your face. You have to listen to me. Like, I know I got it, so listen to me. By force. What you say. Until we feel. Boss man, yeah. you have worked with um, M Boy on several projects. First of all, 2021, how was this for us? A, um, um, a sounding, you are a yeah, producer. Producer. Yeah, musician. I, yeah. I try to understand the rules. Who is a sound engineer? Who is a producer? Okay, so a producer can be anyone, like mm -hmm. as we are here, oh, Bob, Adies, pa, 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 pa. Mm -hmm. If you are able to sample it into music, mm -hmm. you are producing the sound. Mm -hmm. And the sound engineer is more broader, like he does all the technicalities mm -hmm. and all. So where do you fall? Well, um, you know, in this part of the world, you have to learn all. So I'm doing sound engineering, I'm producing, I'm playing. Okay, back to that. Is this something that you learn or it be in born? Yeah, in, yeah, yeah, it's in born. You play other instruments, right? Yeah, piano, bass, guitar, little of bass, okay. guitar. What are some of the notable works that you, you can say, okay, I did this, I did that? Okay, so um, usually I work with Nigerians often. Okay. So I have a few projects out there with mm -hmm. a couple of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Um, there is this guy called Mr. K and all, like we have numbers in Nigeria and my own homie and boy, yeah. Okay. But um, 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 do you feel like, you know, there was this conversation on social media that they stipulated, so like um, sound engineers, mu uh, music producers, they are underappreciated. More times when a light is thrown on the artist, they forget that. They, yeah, that's, they, always, the guy that, that's always been the problem. Mm -hmm. So now we are trying to change the game mm -hmm. coming out with our own songs, features. Like, should I? Is should that I why people you? create your songs? Like, you know, like DJs, they are doing their own songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you so, feel like you're not recognized enough? I'm telling you. So now I'm working on some crazy EP with my guy. I don't want to your money. No, no, he's going to sing. Okay. But now, um, to some extent, mm -hmm. a light will be shown on me as a producer as mm -hmm. well. 
I see. So like I see. DJ Khaled something. Like I mean, that. you understand? Okay. Yeah. How yeah. much do you charge for a beat? Oh no, my manager will have to. How much do you charge for a beat? Yeah, but I've seen, I've, I mean, a prominent artist in the country said he pays hundred CDs for a beat. So I'm trying to know the base price. I don't mention anybody. I'm making you look as stressed. <laughs> what is the base? Do you people make money out of making beats? Yesterday I was watching Kanye West um, documentary on Netflix and like, bro, these artists they take advantage of you. Like Charlie, send me beats, send me beats, send me beats. It's, it's it's crazy. Like so now we we are learning our game mm -hmm. well. We are doing splits. Mm -hmm. Like if I produce uh -huh, for you, splits, uh, yeah, I have a percentage in the song. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you're paying me off then that. So yeah. if you pay me the streaming income, I'm also taking some amount from that. Okay. Yeah. So you are getting to learn the business side of the I'm whole thing. You. Is this um 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 so okay? Question is not but I'll come back to you. Boss man. Right now, your song will be inside the, the JJ where everybody they bash to him. They say you go steal the song. From somebody, what you get to talk about that one? Because I seen you entered into a um, 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 a competition on Twitter, and I was in the comment section. People were dragging you like, "Yo, this song doesn't belong to you. It is for some other girl." Blah 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 blah. When you search the name on Spotify, you see the like two names. Two names. Run me through the story. What could you have, man? Oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> No, no, I don't sound still a song for any reason. Okay. It's just this, let me say, bipolar girl that I got to know recently. Mm -hmm. Understand? I was, I got to know her through my management. Okay. Where my management introduced, um, sorry, introduced her to me that oh, um, be writing for her and also help her out. You get it with those things like, coding and all of that. Okay. So then we hit the studio one time, mm -hmm. where she was around. Okay. You mean? If I if I quite remember, I was writing my exams, mm -hmm. so I had to put like put in a lot of sacrifices for her. Mm -hmm. So when we went to the studio, I wrote the song on the spot for her. Okay. So you wrote the song. For I wrote her. the song for her. Okay. What happened? I wrote the song for her and I recorded it. That oh, take it, go and listen, and come and sing the same thing as yours. Okay. Understand? Where every monetary aspect of it to be handled by my management. So I didn't want to put myself into that part, I, all I had to do was make the song, make sure she has the song and she likes it. And then she's moving, like we are moving forward. We get to, we are making progress. So in that process, after making the song, giving her, so even on my phone and my management like devices, they have three verifiable audio recordings of the song, of which one I have my voice on it, one I have my voice and partially hers on it, and one that finally has hers, understand? All of them recorded. So then the song being out there, I don't know why a lot of controversies are coming over. Like, so how did she release hers? And I don't understand yeah, so what then, happened. Yeah, so then this is what happened. Mm -hmm. After we after we um after we finished the recording and all of that, mm -hmm. and we left everything over to her. So then she was supposed to pay, pay for the song. Okay. You understand? She was supposed to pay for the song and also make sure that the song is clear. Pay you as a, a songwriter. Yes, and also make sure that the song is cleared by my, my management that oh she has the the chance or sorry, she has the the go ahead to the go ahead to use the to use the lyrics, song. you understand? Because it's my intellectual property I have given or rendered to you. So I was I didn't put myself in it so much, mm -hmm. you understand? So before I realized we actually saw a video or let me say a snippet mm -hmm. and cover out of the song without it being paid for mm -hmm. out there on the internet, I think on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So then on the spot, my management sent her a notice. That is a legal notice from our attorneys that, oh, she should hold release, okay. you understand? So then in that process, I don't know what happened. And she still didn't, she was just snobbing and she had been very rude to the whole team. And then not minding us, like just because of this one song, Funny enough, I even wrote two songs for her. The second song is titled Custom Man. Of it, that one, she's, she hasn't released that. I don't know how ever she wants to go about that. But whatever the case may be, she will still have to contact management for that. But I won't even limit myself to that part of the convo. I'll move to. So in that light, she has to pay for the song and she didn't pay. Okay. So right now, are you taking any legal action against her? Because that is your intellectual, uh, intellectual yeah, property. And there is this kind of conversation that you stole from her because she has the numbers on Spotify and all those things. Oh, the numbers, she can have the numbers, but you see, um, 
I still have the moral rights of the song, okay. you understand? And still the economic rights still resides in me and my management, you okay. understand? So for her to to be claiming rights that she has no title to, Charlie. So I want us to establish this. Mm -hmm. You wrote the song. I wrote the song, gave it to her. Mm -hmm. This is a song that, this is supposed to be your song. Okay. After you are done paying. Okay. So then, um, just make the payments, make sure everything is cleared by mm -hmm. my management, okay. and then you have the songs yourself. But she went ahead and released the song. She went ahead and placed a snippet of the song to be released on this date. So then, well, after seven her notice, she refused to take the song down so that we settle the monetary aspect of it. You understand? And in that light, we got legal advice that oh, then go ahead. As as a team, we can't also wait for our intellectual property. Uh, uh, sorry, our intellectual property to go into ruins. You understand? So. We took it upon ourselves to go and record the same lyrics, okay. everything, because it's my song. I, I'm just trying to reclaim my lyrics, okay. you understand? So put the same lyrics where Master Mason, um, we produced the beats mm -hmm. in the studio that like that very day. And everything was ready, so we, we did it um, at a very, very um, expeditious rate, mm -hmm. you understand? But for so, someone, you are a law student, right? Mm -hmm. You should believe in the law. So. If something like that has happened, you should trust the law to deal with because as you said, it's your intellectual property. Mm -hmm. So you can't fuck with your, like my intellectual property. You have to get what is mine, you understand? Because yeah, the notion out there is that you pick their content and all those things. Does that affect you in any way in your creative process? Oh, no, 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 it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't worry me. Okay. Because from the onset, we didn't really take whatever she's trying to do now personal, mm -hmm. you understand? Because we have a, a lot of works coming out, mm -hmm. and of which I know those songs are even like, there are a lot of things to come. I don't really center my energy and attention on what she's doing, mm -hmm. you understand? I just keep creating. Because if you go and check that pool, I wasn't reacting to anything. I keep doing my stuff because mm -hmm. that is what I'm here for. That's what I came to do, to make good music for people to consume. So okay. I don't limit myself to someone's runs and stuff, you understand? So after she she went ahead to put that snippet out, and we also set a release date earlier before hers, mm -hmm. and we released. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that when we you are... You released? We released... You released. Okay. <laughs> we released. We released our, our song, JJ, right? Yeah. Just to make sure that we have the the rights. When we have the original rights, when we are when we get um, so that it will give her the chance to take down her songs when she uploads his. So then that's how come ours was online first. Mm -hmm. I think ours was released for. So you even released the song, original song before her. Oh yes, I did everything. Okay. We did everything before her. So she was mm -hmm. so marvelous, like. I know she will still be, yeah, okay. I know you are watching. Watch so me. guys, uh, <laughs> if you understand right now, we have cleared it. The song belongs to him. He has the intellectual um, right to do whatever he wants to do with the song. I don't want to hear anything again. Yeah. Sorted. Boss man. Yeah. Um, as a producer, sound engineer, walk mm -hmm. me through your creative process. How many minutes, hours does it take you to come up with like a beat? Like the JJ, for instance, it's like some man. wild beat that... <laughs> You understand yeah, yeah so it all depends on the vibe mm -hmm. at the point and like oh, the yeah, artist yeah. himself like no matter who you are working with you have to meet me halfway mm -hmm. with your creativity mm -hmm. like i feed on your energy mm -hmm. because i'm not just a producer who samples mm -hmm. sound like i can listen to you sing mm -hmm. and know what to play okay. i know what rhythm to follow so it all depends on you mm -hmm. as much as it also depends on me so mm -hmm. the creative process is always vibe mm -hmm. like we meet sometimes in hotels, like vibe, let's vibe, create, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. That's all. More often than not, you get, I, I don't know if people understand sampling in this country, because mm -hmm. once an artist or a producer picks a sound, they go like, oh, you are copying and mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. Do you sample other people's sound? Because something like what Kanye West does and all those yeah, things. Yeah. He will sample your sound and make it look more original yeah. than yeah. the original. Yeah. Do you believe in sampling? Yeah. And do you feel like, the Ghanaian content consumer, especially music consumers, mm -hmm. they don't understand the concept of sampling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a whole lot of um, problem. I think um, when you see his song was um, taken down a while ago because mm -hmm. he said he stole from someone, but it was all sampling. Like, mm -hmm. he just sampled the sound. Mm -hmm. I'm a piano, we are sampling from South Africa, right? Yeah. So, I mean, sampling is... I mean, even right now, sampling is the way to go because mm -hmm. Like, it's not easy to come up with a melody line, but you can listen to someone's song and get like, yeah, it's just nice. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me tweak it this way mm -hmm. and make it my own. Okay. So, yeah, so I believe in something. How was it like working with um, M-Boy? 
Well, M Boy. Hmm. How did you guys get in contact? And His all manager has been my um, very old friend, like long time friend. Mm-hmm. So I was there one day and he hit me up. Yo, guy, I have this my boy. He's very talented and I want us to be in the studio and work. I was like, okay, you guys can come over. So mm-hmm. they came over. And then they played the Lee JJ, mm-hmm. the old beat. I listened to it, I was like, nah, mm-hmm. like the sound is not, you know, Ghana, our sound like it's very so boring. Yeah. I mean, our you know, sound is boring, right? Like it's okay. boring. It's which boring. of the sound, the high life, hip life, or which <laughs> of I think you, you need to let me understand because I'm interested mm-hmm. in conversations like this. What makes our sound boring as compared to, let's say, the other um, geographical areas like so Nigeria? And, uh, well, I can only talk about Nigeria okay. because. You see Nigerian producers mm-hmm. like who Mastercraft. Mm-hmm. He's an amazing pianist. Yeah. Gospel on the beat, Ozzy the Cause, P Prime. They are very good at the keys. Mm-hmm. So it's not like they are doing one way something. Mm-hmm. They can pull off any magic, any second, anything you just sing. Mm-hmm. He listens to it because he's been playing in churches. Mm-hmm. He's been playing in jazz band. Mm-hmm. You know. So they have control over. Pro, like the creativity and production, you mm-hmm. understand? So that's why I'm saying Ghanaians, most of our beat makers, mm-hmm. they just learn Fruity Loop. Okay. How to, you know Fruity Loop? Right? I know. I how know. to take, take mm-hmm. the kick, boom, 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 yeah. boom. Then they are close to some artists. Mm-hmm. And even in Ghana, it's very boring because an artist will feel reluctant to work with you because you are not part of his team. Okay. They are doing camp, camp game. Mm. Like, can you imagine there was a time? Adam was trolling me on social media because I called him to. Um, oh, okay, what? Well, that tweet was about you. I'm telling you, I, I made that call, okay. and I was bringing something to you. You will, like you even have to listen to my sound before you decide to troll me or something. Mm-hmm. He never gave me the chance to listen to what I had for him. Okay. Went ahead to troll me. What if I, I'm I'm coming to even give you a beat which is dope than all the producers? You really you. touch your heart, right? I'm telling you, you pay yourself. Got, like industry player like that, they move to you. Like, and mm-hmm. Nigerians are calling me like Black Magic and all these people because they like my sound. Look at the, 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 yeah. the, so, what you I mean, This is yeah. authentic sound. Actually. So it's crazy. Like it's boring out here, but we are doing what we can. What keeps you going, like? doing good music meeting good people good artists talented people creating good sound it's not even about the money anymore mm-hmm. it's about the passion good music oh yeah sure i'm telling you passion yeah yeah i mean when when you follow that line mm-hmm. and you take your business side well you do well okay who are your top five producers in the country this in country? ghana yes. no 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 one <laughs> no one i mean like Bro, we have I I mean me. Look at list the names. Oh, you know we have a we have Kewa, we have MOG, we have all these guys. Yeah, MOG is doing well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's he's good. But me, if an artist Q beat Hammer and all those things, they don't oh, inspire you? No, none of them inspire. So who they inspire you? So um Mastercraft. You basically what Nigeria? Um, you know SARS. Yeah, size on the beat. Yeah, I mean those guys, the OGs, um, P Prime, this new boy P Prime, mm-hmm. and then Juice, our Ghanaian Ju- Juice. So you, you, you are you. So, but he's not based in Ghana. If you yeah, yeah, Ghana, Beauty Beat, Beauty Beat, uh huh. But he's also not that based in Ghana. in Ghana. You understand? But they are what Ghana had there, not to disrespect anyone. I just don't fuck with their sound. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That is someone's preference. I'm not about to drag this. But anyway, so um, what are some of the projects that we should look forward to? In, I mean, when it comes to you partnering, partnering with, with M Boy. Yes. Yeah, we have an EP coming mm-hmm. out. Slop mm-hmm. it up. Okay. Slop it up. No, no, no. That's not a title. <laughs> wait, wait. wait. <laughs> that's what. That's. I like this guy, the sexual in Wendos. <laughs> Damn. That's wrong. That's the title <laughs> of a beat I made. <laughs> Slop it up. See, I'm my manager is laughing. <laughs> Slop it out. God damn it. <laughs> Young Queen. Pink Queen. <laughs> Pink Queen. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what it's called. Pink Queen. Okay. Pink, Pink, Rain. Pink Rain. Rain. Okay, okay. It's like sounds that you, if you just hear it once, mm-hmm. you'll be like, yeah, hey, what's coming? Okay. Like, what's let me this? wait. Yeah. Let, me, let me wait and listen to what's coming. Okay. Yeah, it's going to hit you hard. Okay. Boss, school. You are a law student. Music, school. Charlie. Hmm. On compare Chica Tejumani Vinyana music. <laughs> yeah. How do you combine the two? Because Charlie now, 
marketing like, studio queen so honestly speaking i don't even know i don't even know how i'm doing it mm -hmm. because i'll say it's grace mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. So, like, it's not everyone who can do yeah, it. Oh, rich men in Ghana. <laughs> how do you make money? Now, God, now please God. show us the blueprint. How are you making it as a student, okay, as a so, creative? First of all, I'll say it's grace, mm -hmm. something I can't dispute. You okay. understand? Moving forward, I will make mention of mm -hmm. my um, the way I'm able to strategize my time. Because mm -hmm. the time I will use to be on my phone, mm -hmm. I'm either in the studio, mm -hmm. and by that time, someone is also, um, sorry, also studying. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, by that time, I will be in the studio working. When I come back, I sleep, wake up, steady. Mm -hmm. Like, it's all about prioritization. You okay. trail paper before? No, never. You never trail paper? No, never. And I'm not sure I will. In, okay. I'm a very good student anyway. Okay. Just to make sure. What is rule of law? <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a me there. Okay. So, yes. Um, what, um, what are some of the projects that we should look uh, forward to and all those things, Charlie? What, what is the way for what in the next five years, what should we expect from you? And also, by this question, I said, do you feel like Guyanians have accepted your sound? Like, or there is, there is the room for you to improve in order to be in the good book of Ghanaians? Like, okay, this is the guy, this is the guy, all those things. Or you, do you feel like you are underappreciated or you are underlisting and all those things? Because based on the content that you have, um, you have, you have out, you should feel like okay, I should be in a conversation, like the new guys coming. Well, um, I think because I'm woman new, woman I say, I'm, I'm new in here, mm -hmm. so and also music like it, it evolves mm -hmm. really with time. So mm -hmm. I won't limit myself to saying that mm -hmm. oh, I'm underappreciated mm -hmm. or over. I'm in between. Okay. But then with time, mm -hmm. I'm actually going to be very appreciated. So I'm just working on that. Mm -hmm. Just to get the standard up there. And I know the sounds won't stay in Ghana here. I want it to go global. That's okay. why we are not making something like Lijay. It's not something you even think is a Ghanaian sound. Yeah. You even think it's ni like you feel it's a Nigerian or an outside sound mm -hmm. or it's a West African sound in yeah. general, you understand? Mm -hmm. So in such a like such a song like this can take us global. Okay. And even this is the list of the best projects we have. Okay. We have one song. Um, we are working on our, our joint EP, and mm -hmm. of which that joint EP. My boss, man. Dream one. <laughs> oh, dream one. One chance. Wow, Christian. One chance. So like I sit back and listen to myself. Like, ah, how okay. did you do this? Because mm -hmm. I wake up to write songs. I purposely wake up because. And you're coming at all. No, no, it's it's because I've prioritized making music. Mm -hmm. Just as the way I'm doing the law, mm -hmm. like I, I treat it like I'm doing, like I'm, so I treat, I treat it like I'm steady. Mm -hmm. Understand? Like your degree day or now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So then I wake up this time. I'm going to write this song. If it doesn't work out, okay, fine. I'll just steady. Or I'll sleep because sometimes when I start listening to sounds I've done, mm -hmm. it makes me tired. So I can't like trying to switch from music to you learning. Know, it's yeah. different. So I just sleep. I don't look at what people also do. You understand? Because I know a lot of people are be like ah. People will be around to me, Charlie. How are you doing this? Because mm -hmm. in our lectures, I even like Charlie. You are doing so amazing. You shouldn't even still be and uh, like still be upcoming. You should, like you should just blow at once. But you see, it's a time. Mm -hmm. Music is time and season. You understand? Okay. And I'm working on also painting a picture that you can't erase. So okay. that's why I'm working gradually to get to work. Okay. Give me your inspiration in the industry. Who they inspire you for the industry? Industry here. Yeah. yeah. No, no one. Ah. No. You are a producer. I said. <laughs> you people, you people be anti ghanaian so we they come inspire people. Okay, exactly. you you people are going to inspire people. New gen. Okay, <laughs> so Charlie, your last words then, Charlie. Make we just bounce out of here. Mm, I mean, we are in twenty twenty or twenty twenty two. Yeah, good music, mm -hmm. positive energy. Mm -hmm. Let's take Ghana far. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, our doors are open for any other stuff okay. like collapse. Project, production projects, and all. If I contact you right now, I want to spit on your beat. How much you gonna charge me? <laughs> Charlie, yeah, Charlie, yeah, Charlie, that one still will come. We have to go through my management. <laughs> but if for no say uh, like quarter, there's a quarter be there. Yeah. For prepare quarter. So what be the range so that I I will prepare? Oh, it shouldn't be anything less than like three zeros at the back. <laughs> Fish, you know how to produce beats, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joey. we will try you first then before we move there. You will try him first. Yes, because we can't pay you. We, we want our money, no be that. Uh, so then we have. Do you take installments and stuff? Like, 
I will pay them. Then I'm sure management, so still management still, yeah, yeah, has yeah, a way. Ah, this guy in management, they be like, <laughs> you know, be small conversation. <laughs> yeah, hey, Richard, your last one. Yeah, so my last one is yeah, I was still, I like to center on my EP. Mm-hmm. My EP is still out there, titled Painting Pictures. Mm-hmm. Out on every digital streaming platform. Painting guys, pictures. Painting pictures. Shelly from Paul Yudas. Perfect <laughs> picture. <laughs> yeah, so then, yeah, painting pictures. Yes, as, as I already said, trying to paint a picture you can't erase. So, mm-hmm. working towards that. The next EP will get a title. So, okay. Yeah, so then it's out on every platform and you guys expect more from me. I'm bringing a lot of new sounds in here. Like, I think. Um, when you start listening to me, you actually feel oh, actually this guy and nah. because already I'm actually getting such replies on Twitter now. Like now people are actually moving to me on Twitter and they're like, Charlie, you are you to uh, are you sure you are under G or upcoming? Because you sound like someone who doesn't even have to be underground. You okay. understand? So I guess I just want to push the brand Ghana to okay. the whole well, Are you signed to a record label? Yeah, I'm under team here, yeah, jump up entertainment. Is it a record label? Yes. Are they treating you well? Oh, yeah. Oh. Are they giving you some dubious contracts? No, we, we are brothers. No, dubious contract. Don't even worry about that because you okay, handle okay, you know, right? okay. You are a lawyer. No problem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, M Boy. Master Mason. Master Mason. Master Mason. So, um, go. The music video for the JJ, when should we expect it? No, remember, remember, when? When? G- we work with time, bro. <laughs> oh, time, you see, everything has to be done. Oh, way, God. Bro. Just <laughs> give me time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, he said we should wait for the uh, music video for LJ, but check his sound out, Charlie. <laughs> amazing content out there. Um, YouTube, your YouTube channel is M Boy. M Boy official. M Boy official. And it's M Boy again on every other. Yeah, M Boy again on every other platform. So guys, check the sound out. Let me know what you think. My name is Kujie Sheldon. See you on the flip side of bald niggas. <laughs>